perfect on the salmon. Excuse me? Yes, excuse me, ma'am. What are you doing? Um, I'm sorry, I saw the water boiling, so I decided to take the fire down. Yeah, very good. But who gave you the permission to do that, huh? <laughs> I'm sorry. My name's Karen, Karen Yan. I'm the new cook in this restaurant. <laughs> this is a joke, right? You are the cook here. She's a cook! Guys, she's a cook! Good. Now, let me ask you something. Look around you. What do you see? Do you see any women here? That's right. You don't. Because this is a men's profession. You have no right to be here. Because men are the best cooks in the world. Th that, that's a fact, all right? Well, I don't understand what the problem is because I have experience and I have worked as a cook before. She's worked as a cook before, boys! As a cook before! <laughs> Where? In Chinatown? Huh? Oh my God, please, you don't belong here. You're wasting my time! Well, sir, I cannot live because anyway, the manager has hired me. So, I'm gonna work as a cook in this restaurant. You know what? The fact that you're standing here talking to me is already a waste of time and annoying. Very, very annoying. What I'm gonna do is go to the manager, talk to him about this misunderstanding, and you will fly out of here like a stuntman from a Jack Chan movie. Do you understand? Great. Get back to your section. Uh, Mr. Crawford, can I, can I have a word with you, sir? Yeah, first of all, uh, Steve, we have a very important guest right now sitting in our restaurant, table number five. He's famous restaurant critic, Chase Star, his name. This means that all meals have to be prepared quickly, tasty, and well presented. Is that clear? Yes, sir. I just wanted to talk about our new cook. And what's the matter with her? Sir, I just didn't know that we are hiring employees without my knowledge. Am I supposed to consult with you about every hiring and do this restaurant? No, 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 sir. That's not what I meant. It's just, you know, she's new and I'm the Please chef. Please stop it right now. Miss Yan, she is a great specialist in her field. That's period. A great specialist in her field, sir, with all due respect. Stop right now. You are thinking about the wrong things. We have a critic sitting in our restaurant. So think about that and get back to your work now. Yes, sir. We are not done yet. All right, people, let's get down to business. John, appetizers. Yes, sir. Sam, entrees. Yes. Jack, you're on the pass. You pass a burnt meat and you are fired. You understand? Yes, sir. Uh, what should I do? What should you do? Huh. Well, uh, insects and octopuses are not on the menu, so I really don't know what to offer you. But Mr. Crawford said that... Mr. Crawford and I talked about you being fired tomorrow. So your Asian odor won't stay in the kitchen any longer. All right? Okay, I get it. I have only one day to prove my professionalism, and I'm ready. So what's my assignment? What's your assignment? Well, <laughs> that's your assignment. Washing the dishes? Exactly. And if you don't like it, you can always leave. Be my guest. Okay, no problem. There are not many dishes, so I'll do it that quickly. Oh. And can I get to cooking after I finish it? After you finish it? <laughs> after you finish the dishes. Well, <laughs> I bet you can when you finish all the dishes. And uh, actually, yes, I think you can start cooking. <laughs> Good luck. You can eat it. This is the third dish coming back. Anything he orders, it's coming back. This is Mr. Star, you know, he's the most demanding critic in our state. His behavior is quite natural in this case, you know? It's quite natural. It's quite natural. <laughs> You're a funny guy. Hey, you! What did you order next? A piece of English beef pie, sir. A piece of English beef pie? What is he, an aristocrat all of a sudden? Anyway, give me an empty oven. Come on, let's do this, people.
Ah. Sir, I've finished uh, washing the dishes as you asked to. So, can I start cooking? Sorry, I'm busy. Ah, uh, sir, but you promised. Can't you see I'm busy? Did I make myself? Steve! What's wrong with you today? Um, sir, I understand. I understand that this is not the best time for this. But please give me a chance. Let me make something special for you. Let's make a bet. Bet? She wants to make a bet. I'm listening. Come on. Uh, yes. Um. I'll make an English pie, mm -hmm. especially for you. Mm -hmm. And is if it is as good as yours, you'll hire me. If it's not, so be it. I'll quit and leave you my pay for today. Well, first of all, listen to me. Your pie is never going to be as good as mine, all right? And second of all, a beef pie is not sushi. So, darling, I'm sorry, but you've already lost. Now move. We're making a beef pie, people. Come on, let's get ready. We'll see. Darling, I knit this more than you do. Sorry. Critic is mine. Uh, you're fast. Well done. Now show me how quick you can wash the dishes. Go. Easy. For you, sir. Okay, what is this? Um. Oh, 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 the pie that you've been trying to cook, huh? Yeah, really? Well, true. you know what? I'm sorry, but I have to disappoint you because this is a real English pie. This is how an English pie looks like. And not this this disgusting misunderstanding, this bad pie. Sir, please, I did my best. Could you please at least try? Uh, all right, all right, fine, I will. I will, just so that you can just leave, get out of here as quickly as possible. I know I'm wasting my time, but I will try it. Uh, you know what? That's good. That's good, you know why? Because I will not have to see you here anymore. This is the most disgusting pie I have ever tried in my kitchen. What? S sir, are you sure? I'm positive, all right? Now, hand in your uniform and get out of here, please. But I... Now! Yeah, by the way, wait a minute. Have you washed a ladle? No? Then please do it and then you're free to go. All right? Come on. Chop, chop. Can I take the pie, sir? that. I'm coming with you. Mr. Starr, we are honored. You are here at our restaurant, and 
I can assure you that this is the best English pie that you have ever tasted. I personally did. Oh. Who made it? You? Uh, well, of course, sir. Personally. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's great. This is the, the best dish I've tasted this month. I'm honored, sir. Mm. This is so perfect. And the sauce. What is it? Is it something European? Uh, well, sir, this is a uh, company secret. Come on, you cannot keep secrets like that. Come on, you can tell me. Please. Well, sir, with all due respect, uh, my professionalism doesn't allow me to. All right, my friend. All right. <clears throat> I'm offering you a trade. I can make you and this restaurant famous. I'll write a complimentary article about you and give you the title of the best chef of the year if you tell me the secret of the sauce. What did you just say? Do you really mean that, Mr. Star? Yeah. But this is amazing. This is unbelievable. Steve, could you please tell Mr. Star your amazing secret right now? Yeah, Steve, what's the sauce? Sir, this is the secret sauce I was telling you about. Uh, the one that I made at... Let's uh, say... That's a Worcestershire sauce, sir. Worcestershire sauce? Exactly, that's a Worcestershire sauce. I, I, I greased the uh, English pie with the uh, uh, Worcestershire sauce and, and this, is, this is my secret for my English beef pie. That's a lie. What? what? What do you mean? What do you mean this is a lie? Worcestershire sauce, Mr. Chef, is made from anchovies. I hate anchovies. I would know if anchovies were being made at a restaurant next door. I hate it when a chef appropriates somebody else's work. But, sir... I'm asking one more time, who made this sauce? Uh, that's Shanxi Chinese sauce, sir. It's a sweet sour sauce, sugar, vinegar, orange juice, tomato puree, corn flour, some water, and soy sauce. That's my pie. I made it. So you have stolen a dish from this beautiful lady? Sir, I did. That's outrageous. This is a scandal. I will make you famous. A famous liar. Wait for an article about yourself on Monday. Miss, you're such an excellent cook. I would like to see you as a chef at my restaurant. A chef? Yeah. Seriously? What would you say about that? I'll do it, of course. Excuse me, sir, with all due respect, but she cannot be a chef at your restaurant, okay? Uh, besides, she's a cook here already. Yeah, that's right. I'm sorry, Mrs. Star, I completely forgot. I can't work for you while I'm officially settled here. So, you're unbelievably lucky today because I just got fired. Fired? Who fired you? When? A while ago, like 10 minutes, Steve fired me. 
Um, so I will gladly accept your offer to work for you, sir. Great, great. Let's talk about the details. Sure, let's. Mr. Star, Mr. Star, Mr. Star. Oh, God. Mr. Crawford, I just... I just gonna be a dishwasher from now on. Is that what you wanted to say to me, right? And you know what? I absolutely agree with you. Sir. Clean up here, boy. the main attraction. Hmm. Come here. You're married. I don't care. She's so stupid and she still believes I love her. Ooh, your wife has a great taste. Josh, wake up. Josh, I'm in shock. We've been robbed, honey. 